Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is one of Terrapin Side Projects. This is number 13, volume 13. This is their Big Daddy Vladdy's Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, they're out of Athens, Georgia, the Terrapin Beer Company. Uh, this is a 10.25 ABV beer, so be careful with this one. This is a strong one. Uh, this is a sipper, not a gulper. Remember that. This is a limited production. They did it once, and they do a lot of these little side project type deals. So uh, this is number thirteen in the series. The the uh, the glassware for this pint, the becker, the stein, the tumbler, or the oversized wine or the snifter. I got the Duval glass. The food pairing this is this a Russian imperial stout, so that's a dessert type beer, chocolate. Uh, the uh, beer can be sold for extended periods, been a ten percent, and keep for a long, long, long time. So. As long as you probably want to keep it if you kept it at the right temperature. So, that being said, let's get the full office thing and see what it's about. I actually bought two of these, and I've had them. I've had them for a while. Uh, I've got one still down there. I've not drank this before, so it'll be the first time for me. So, let's see what it's about. This probably should be black as motor oil. So we'll pour it right down the center here. We want to get in there right now. With that aggressive pour, we got a good one finger of head there, and it is as black as motor oil. There is absolutely no light coming through that glass anywhere around it at all. It has a nice chocolate looking head with big bubbles in the top of it there with that aggressive pour. Looks pretty good in the glass. I can see the bubbles streaming up if I look on the outside of the glass streaming up on there. So let's get a nose on it and see what we got. Okay, well, I'm getting a lot of roasted malts and coffee, a little cocoa there, or, or, or bittersweet chocolate. It smells very good in the glass. Me being a stout fan, this is a this has got a wonderful smell to it. I hope that the taste is just as good as the smell. I mean, it is uh, everything you'd want in a stout with the chocolate and the coffee going on. Rusted malt. A lot of coffee. But here it is, guys. Cheers. A lot of alcohol in that taste. You can tell it's a 10% beer. Get a little warming effect down the throat. A lot of roasted malt there. Not so much the chocolate tin and taste. Maybe there's bittersweet, not the sweet chocolate. It's like a bittersweet chocolate. A lot of coffee there too. Roasted malt, coffee, chocolate. What else do you want in the stout? <laughs> Dry the fridge, guys, about 40 degrees. I'm going to sip on this one, so I'll be back in about 45 minutes. But it's only going to take about three seconds for y'all. Stick around. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got a little left in the glass here. Been sipping on it about 30 minutes or so, 45. Not the best Russian Imperial stuff that I've had. It's pretty good, but heavy on the alcohol taste. So, uh, that being said, final chug, guys. I'm going to probably let the, the other bottle at 10% set down that for a year or two or three. 
We'll see if it gets a little bit better with age. So I'm gonna give this a seven, which is a B plus on the scale tonight. Great beer has this a 97 overall and a 59 in the style. So uh, beer Atkin has a B minus on this. So uh, I'm gonna do a little better with the seven being a B plus. So guys, if you've had it, let me know uh, if you liked it, didn't like it. Uh, doubt if it's still available. Uh, you might get lucky and find it still. If you do, you can pick it up. But uh, uh, give me some comments back on this one, guys. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to do it all over again. See everybody then.